What is up, people? I've got some exciting news to share about Unity's controversial policy change. And this is a follow-up video to our previous video of Unity's controversial policy changes right here. So if anyone's been living under a rock, so I'm going to start by summarizing the previous video in short. So let's get started. Okay, so a short while ago, Unity dropped a bombshell with a new runtime fee policy, which caused a huge stir among developers, indie developers in the entire gaming community. The controversial changes were revealed in a blog post on the company's website earlier this month. Now, Unity is a very, very popular cross-platform game engine that powers popular titles like Among Us, Fall Guys, Escape from Tarkov, etc. And they announced that a new runtime fee would take effect from January 1st, 2024. This controversial fee, which many, many game companies push back on, is calculated gaming game installs after a game crosses a certain revenue and installation threshold. So at the time, Unity said that the runtime fee would be applied retroactively to games that meet the revenue and install thresholds. But those plans have changed because everyone lost their shit and everything blew up and things got really out of hand. But hold on, things have taken an unexpected turn. So Unity's president, Mark Witten, whose ex-EA has taken to Twitter to respond. He not only issued an apology, but also recognized the need for better communication from their side. Now let's take a look at what he had to say. Witten's open letter starts with an apology, and then the president continues admitting that Unity should have probably, you know, talk to all the developers out there using their engine before announcing such massive changes. So he says, we should have spoken with more of you and we should have incorporated more of your feedback before announcing a new runtime fee policy. Now then, Witten has laid out new changes, which I assume Unity is hoping is going to receive a better reaction this time around. So what exactly are these changes? Unity is backtracking on some of the most controversial aspects of their policy. Here's a quick rundown of some of the improvements that were announced. First up, Unity confirmed that its personal plan will remain completely free. It also said that now it has no plans to charge the controversial runtime fee on games built with Unity Personal. It also is increasing how much revenues devs can make on games using this free version of the engine. The old limit was $100,000 and the new limit is $200,000. Witten also said that Unity is removing the requirement to have a made with Unity splash screen appear when players boot up the game. Unity also says that no game with less than 1 million in trailing 12 month revenue will be subject to the runtime fee. Next, the letter announces that the fee will only apply to software developed using new LTS version of Unity which ships in 2024. Your games that are currently shipped and the projects you currently work on will not be included unless you choose to upgrade them to this new version of Unity. Explain with Unity also promises that developers will be able to stay on the terms that apply to their version of Unity engine as long as devs don't upgrade. So watch the catch. There's always the catch. Unity is not completely rolling back on its plans. There is still a runtime fee, but with a twist. Let's break down the options Unity is offering to developers. So firstly, to be clear, Unity is not removing runtime fee or reversing its plans completely. And the last part of the open letter confirms this with a company present referencing the runtime fee and explaining that developers will now have a choice. Witten says that for games that are subject to runtime fee, we are giving you a choice of either a 2.5% revenue, revenue share all the calculated amount based on the number of new people engaging with your game each month. Unity says both of these numbers are self-reported from data developers who already have access and the studios will always be built for the less lesser amount. In last part, Witten says we want to continue to build the best engine for creators. We truly love this industry and you are the reason why. Thank you for caring as deeply as you do and thank you for giving us this 
feedback. Now, how is the community reacting to these changes? Are they cautiously optimistic or are they skill skeptical? Now, first initial reactions to the open letter and the changes are somewhat positive, especially compared to the feedback that they received from devs last time they announced changes. But it still doesn't change that many feel like they cannot trust the company anymore. Partially fixing a problem you create in the first place is not a great way to win people back. So in a nutshell, Unity's response to the controversy has brought both relief and skepticism within the community. It's very, very clear that Unity is making an effort to address the concerns raised by developers. All right, so that's it for this video. And if you guys are looking at staying updated on all things happening in the gaming industry and related to game development, training, and learning how to get in the game industry, make sure to subscribe to our game channel. And also, if you're looking for mentorship, if you're looking for training for Unity or Unreal, which is certified by the government of India, check out our website at gamertomaker.com that's your thing or if you're interested in game design that is our absolute speciality hit that notification bell share your thoughts in the comments below and do not forget to like this video if you liked it and formed it informative thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video stay creative make games let's go